Hello. Hello. Can you see me and hear me? Is that everything fine? Good. So today I I will explain my match against uh, Ray Robson. Uh, only two uh, games because it's a little bit late. Uh, now I'm planning to make more, but uh, I think uh, the best idea to consider only first two games and uh, other two games from this match I will consider in my next report. So I won uh, this uh, match with score 3-1. But uh, I lost the uh, first game. So we will start from the first game. Uh, flip board. So I was black. Ray Robson is white. My choice was uh, Slav defense. Knight f3, knight f6, e3. He doesn't play knight c3. Probably he wants to avoid this line. I don't know, but okay, he played e3, and now black has white choice. Many moves are possible. I played here everything. So I played here bishop f5, I played, I played uh, also e6, uh, I played also g6, and a6 also possible, so black has white choice. But uh, against Ray Robson, I decide to play bishop g4. I have played this line also, not only with black pieces, also with white pieces. And now he played h3. Very natural move, although white has choice because, for example, Boris Gelfand played uh, queen b3 here, king b6, knight e5. It's also possible. Also possible to take queen b5 here. So idea if this queen b3 is possible. If bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, c takes d5, knight c3, e6, bishop e3, knight c6, castle, and later, in some variation, white is trying to use h3 square for attack, for example, with this, with now queen h3, it's possible with idea f4 to prepare attack in king's fight. But okay, so Ray Robson played h3. Thank you for subscription. I took on f3, bishop h5 is also possible. Vladimir Potkin played bishop h5 against me. Many games was played in this position. Main theory is something like this. My game against Topalo, I was white. Important that uh, h4 now it's not so strong because black has d takes c4. Now if h5 knight takes e5 coming, king takes. So if uh, if knight takes d7, queen takes d7. After h5, black has bishop d3. So h4 is not the best idea. Usually white is playing knight takes g6, h takes g6. And now a3 or bishop d2. A3 is the best solid to prevent bishop d4. Okay, but I took on f3, queen takes f3, e6, knight c3, knight bd7. And other uh, possibilities are bishop d6 here or bishop d4 as well, it's possible. Okay, 
late 1987, bishop d3, very standard move, although white has another plan, for example, it's possible to take on d5. It's better to take when knight on d7, because if uh, it takes immediately, sorry. If take immediately, black can take with this pawn and play, and then knight will go to c6. So. If cd cd knight uh, on d7 usually not so active and then on c6 so white can uh, take here and after e takes d5 there is plan bishop d2 and then long castle g4 try to prepare attack bishop d3 bishop d4 white can use same plan here also c takes d5 if e takes d5, bishop d2, it's a matter of taste. Okay, so he played castle, castle, rook d1, very standard position. But in next game, uh, Ray played queen d1, or, or bishop d2, okay, I don't remember exactly what was move order, but uh, okay. Uh, during the next report, we will consider. So, rook d1, very natural move. Rook e8, uh, also na natural move. e5 now, I think it's... No, e5, uh, white can just take and... So, it's not good for, for blacks. Uh, so, rook e e8, as I prepare e5. For example, if white is playing bishop d2, now e5 is strong. Because uh, now after c takes d5, black has bishop takes c3 and e4. And they are winning uh, a piece. So, uh, another possibility to prepare e5 was queen e7. And again, if... Uh, White will be not careful. Now e5 is good for black because after c takes d5, bishop c3 and e4, black is winning the piece. Yes, uh, thematic, but uh, it needs uh, to be prepared. Uh, but okay, after queen e7, white can play queen e2. And now, now e5, it's uh, not so convincing because white can take and after take, there is, there is bishop d2, and in this position, white is slightly better, because isolated pawn is weak. Next move will be bishop d1. But okay, I played rook e8, now queen e2 may be possible, I don't know, but... It's possible to consider during the game even I consider something like this 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 knight a4 and I wasn't sure that I'm fine here it's double edged position black seems to be active but uh, uh, pawns can be weak in future and uh, if I see Magnus against Eric I see no I didn't see what happened. So queen e2 was possible, but Ray Robson played bishop f1, also understandable idea. So he doesn't allow motif e5 and e4. So, so now after e5 he can take and he is not losing uh, the piece. Queen e7 I played. No. Bishop d2. Also a3 can be alternative, I don't know. But maybe it's a good move. Just to check what uh, black will do with his bishop. But okay, he played bishop d2. No. 
he wants to play rook a c1, something like this, or maybe a3, and after a3, for example, if I'm playing this, a3, I should go to d6, because of course I cannot go to a5, like his knight takes d5 and bishop takes uh, a5, sorry, it's, it's very simple and very standard, but sometimes it's useful to repeat as well. So I took on c4, bishop takes c4, at least pleasant that white lost tempi, so bishop d3, bishop f1, and then bishop takes c4. And now I played e5. Again, quite standard position, so I played bishop d3. Understandable idea, so in some variation white won't uh, to take uh, on e5, but if now take black can take with knight and then take the bishop is uh, very good position. So for white is better to preserve his bishop from exchange. Rook a d8 I played in uh, e4. Uh, could be option something like this and then uh, try to occupy d5 square but at the moment e4 is a great tactical mistake why it can just take black losing the pawn without any compensation because the bishop d2 is possible to take on f6 or just take on d2 if uh, queen takes e4 bishop takes b4 simply if possible if uh, knight takes e4, I am suffering from weakness of f7. So this, this, queen takes f7 check and queen takes d7. And black is losing. So e4 I cannot play. Okay, it's uh, not so deep trap. It's easy to see. I played rook a d8, natural developing. Now he has choice. Uh, so uh, I want to take on d4, but I am waiting bishop e1. Because if uh, take immediately, he will take, and then bishop is ready to go to g5. h6, but h6 can be tactical. I played waiting move. D1 totally white can play D1 C5 bishops to play this position is two bishops advantage. Not loss in special but a little bit more pleasant to play. So D takes I was played rook D1. I played H6, so I am preparing E take D4 in better version. Five. Again, I have same choice, but probably knight takes e4 and knight d3 is possible. But I'm, I'm not sure is it, this uh, this is really good, but at least I have knight c5. This idea to successfully exchange me his bishop with rook b1. Maybe more possible, but uh, I don't know. For example, rook d7 is possible. This idea rook e d8 to improve my knight on d3. So he played knight e2, but okay, knight e2, uh, if white uh, plays knight e2, it's uh, signs that white is not uh, fighting for advantage anymore because only advantage in uh, this position for white was uh, two bishops pair. Now I can exchange one of bishops, so position is. So any problem with stream? Really? So what I need to do? Restart. Can somebody else write?
Ah, now it's night. Okay, so just wait a few minutes. So knight e2, he is playing. Now I played, I, I just took on d2. e4 was possible to consider now, but after e4, of course white cannot take because uh, they are losing the piece here. But after e4, queen f5 is totally move and uh, I never can play g6 and so bishop d6 is possible but after bishop d6 white has possibilities many possibilities even bishop a5 is possible to consider at that point turn up the microphone so uh, to to add now is okay Add loud. Okay, so e4 was not necessary, so he, uh, I took on d4, rook takes d, d. So now I understand that he is ready to play e4 structure, reverse at uh, French, uh, but hardly black has chances to create attacks, so. And if I am taking, he wants to take on d4 with knight and then to have some tactical threats with knight f5 in some way. So I am not hurried. Okay, probably it was possible as well and play now knight e5. Maybe it's not bad at all. He cannot play queen g3 because knight e4. But okay, he can play queen e2. Just just play this position. Okay, I played knight b6, so more flexible move probably, because sometimes I can consider possibility to push e4 and knight bd5, for example, if rook bd, uh, cd1, I can this, and now rooks, uh, uh, rook on d1 looks like uh, less logical than on c1, and now I can play knight bd5 with idea to play g6, so now black has good position. H4 is possible, G6, Queen H3, H5. Black is fine. Okay, it's, uh, maybe black is not better, but surely not worse. So knight G3, play Ray or Robson. He wants knight F5 or G6. Fine. I have solid position, so rook in D1. Unfortunately, I cannot play king g7 immediately because he is taking and I am losing material because after this check, so I, I need to take firstly and king g7. So everything is solid. Uh, he has no knight f5. And position is totally equal. He played h4, risky move somehow. More natural was probably knight e2 to come back with equal position, but he played h4. No. Probably his idea was uh, to play uh, after h5 immediately, probably he planned to take, take and play knight e4. Probably this was his idea. And now knight. Uh, wants to go to g5. And black cannot take here because queen takes f7 check. If king h6, queen f4. If uh, king h8, queen takes g6 and white is just winning here. So there's some kind of, of trap. Okay, but maybe white could, could try uh, realize this idea in different move order. Takes, 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 and now h4. To prepare h5, and uh, if uh, uh, I play h5 myself, knight e4 is coming. So probably uh, this was more precise idea. Queen d2 and queen takes b2, it's hardly good, at least 
looks like risky also, maybe possible, who knows. Ah, 22, 20 XF6, sorry, sorry. Ah, so he could, uh, aha, probably I mistake it here, so probably I should play something else. Probably better for me was uh, uh, take uh, immediately on d4 and now play king g7. Because now knight e4 doesn't work. Uh, okay, it, it works, but it uh, e enough only for draw. Just take, take, take this, this, so this is only draw white can not play for win but they have perpetual check of course and if uh, if if h4 now i can block uh, h5 and and now knight e4 is uh, not enough even for draw because black has h6 square for his king So probably King G7 was in accuracy, which uh, my opponent didn't realize. So just take, 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 take H4, and it's in H5, Knight E4. This position is unpleasant somehow because Knight is coming to G5. I cannot take, uh, and uh, if uh, I am not playing H5, uh, he will play H5 and. Uh, uh, my king will be weak somehow. Okay, probably the best way uh, just play something like this after h5, queen e7. Probably nothing special. Or start with queen e7 because uh, here pr probably queen f4 is possible is idea if queen e7, queen c7, but knight c5. So, so my idea this allow this this and probably a little bit shaky because my king is weak, but probably nothing special. But anyway, it's more pleasant for white after queen d1, for example, and then knight e2. So, but nothing special. So h4 is an accuracy. So now I took and play h5. Now I block his activity and in some moment I am ready to play knight g4. Not immediately because rook e4 but uh, in some moment. And he played knight e2 so it signs that very difficult for white to improve the position because uh, I have everything under control and uh, my knights are ready to go to d5 or uh, I have another plan, knight uh, d6, d7, and to e5. So he played knight e2, but okay, now also somewhere I can think about uh, g4 square to utilize. I play stockfish sometimes. Okay. For what? Looks like totally stupid idea to play. I, I have no experience uh, to play against computer. So knight e2 he played uh, well. Knight d7, knight c3, knight c5, or also knight e5 was possible so position. But after knight e5, probably queen f4. This is uh, to consider this. If f3 queen takes h4, I don't know if it works or not, but idea this. Three pawns against peace. This, this, this. King f1. Difficult to say who is better here. But this is, for example. So 
but of course this variation is not forcing like in like in g3 for example something like this so it's okay i played knight c5 another normal move bishop c4 knight g4 g3 knight e5 so i'm exchanging his bishop My position looks like totally good, but uh, knight takes c4, maybe knight e6 was more precise. Of course, uh, I, I, I took and played knight e6, so knight e6, if uh, he moves with rook, I, I will have same position. Uh, ah, queen f6 instead, knight, queen f6. Queen f6, uh, I don't see big reason because just bishop e2 is coming and everything is defended and I have no active possibilities anymore. This is like uh, very logical. I considered this move, but uh, I wasn't totally sure uh, something like this uh, and now rook e4 queen h3 so i have seen such idea but i wasn't totally sure that it works and i'm troubled but probably it works because after queen d4 just f6 and uh, and now i have threat rook d8 to play even Okay, rook e4 is not necessary, white can play just king g2, not allow queen h3, and uh, they have control on d line, and they are ready to play rook d6 in some moment. Okay, so knight takes c4 is a reasonable choice, rook takes c4, and I've played knight e6. Well, totally normal move, also possible rook d8. If I want uh, to make draw, so exchange pieces, and it looks like pretty drawish position. But okay, knight e6 is also a normal move. Knight e2, rook d8, queen d6. Rook d7. Okay, position looks like equal. But uh, how to play? Okay, black has white choice. Uh, even uh, c5 is possible to consider this idea to, pl to play b6 and improve my structure in queen's flank. So it's totally possible. But okay, I played rook d7. Knight f4. Knight takes f4. Rook takes f4. It's more or less obvious that uh, this position is drawish, but uh, I managed to lost this. We'll see how in e5, normal move, a6, okay, not losing, queen c2. Okay, king g8 probably not the best because uh, after rook e4 is better to have queen f5. So probably more precise was to play something else. Well, for example, king h7 was possible. Or queen f5. But okay, king g6. Rook e8. Nothing wrong, position looks like pretty drawish. Rook d7, rook f4, but so I was agreed to draw, but he continues to play. And suddenly I started to play something strange. So queen d6, so strange moves. What was normal? Maybe a5 was normal move. Okay, many moves is possible. White has no special, even uh, I can consider this idea to prepare queen d8. Okay, queen d6, rook d4. No 
of similar. Even I can consider this here. If root e4, queen h3 is now. White cannot uh, go with queen to c3, and I'm, I can just like the d4, king h7, for example. Hard to believe that somebody has winning chances here. I played this. I played queen d6. Of course, queen f6 was totally normal. So queen d6 was strange because not just strange, it's just a bad move probably because uh, I allow rook e8 and queen c3 and he forced me to play f6 and after f6 uh, my position ought obviously became weaker so instead of queen d6 I should play something else probably queen d8, probably queen f6 is possible queen f6 looks, uh, looks like the best because now rook e8, okay, queen d7 even king g7 is possible because queen c5 is hardly dangerous for black. I can just even take. This is only check. Nothing more. But after queen d6, so it's very strange that uh, I played such a move. Okay, in time trouble, but uh, so position looks like totally simple. So D5 and this end game. How he played King F1 also looks uh, better for White to play Rook D8 to prevent D4 and then King G1, King D2. So okay, maybe it's still drawish but unpleasant somehow. Black probably should try to play G5 and King G6, King E5 to create some. King f1, he played now d4, looks like more easy for me because I'm exchanging the pawns. This endgame looks like pretty drawish, but I managed to lost them. Okay, on time, but it's not pleasant to play because. And big question. If I can hold, uh, I played this, a5, and uh, now I uh, suddenly took on g4 without special reason. More logical strategy was uh, just play this, for example. If king f4, king g7, and just wait. Big question if white can do something serious. Okay, probably rook d6, he can try, and if king... Rook d5 somehow, and now king d6 is possible. It looks like black has excellent chances to hold this position. After h takes g4, he has uh, passed at pawn h, so situation a little bit more dangerous for me. Okay, maybe not terrible still, but uh, surely not pleasant. And now I lost on time this position. Okay. Uh, it's question if white uh, has serious chances. Of course, black is passive, but uh, for example, after rook f7, no, I don't think this is losing. Okay, it's unpleasant, but uh, I don't think this is losing. Uh, I can play rook f7, and now I have threat. Uh, to take on h5, if uh, he plays king e6, I can just take and play f5. And now I have um, some kind of contraplay. If uh, something uh, else, but how he can improve position? So, some uh, takes takes f5. Some uh, how is uh, is threat. Uh, Okay, it's red for draw. It's, uh, of course, uh, black is walls. Only white can play for win. But, uh, but I think uh, black should survive with accurate defense. But okay, I lost on time. What is this? 
that was my game. And second game, I was fine. It was increment, uh, two seconds, but I lost on time. E4. Uh, time control was uh, 15. C5, C4 was questioned when I played knight d7. Queen f6, ah, queen f6, I answered it. So with white I played e4, I will flip board. e5, this, this, bishop c4. Robson always playing knight f6, uh, so bishop c5 is another popular move, but... Uh, uh, I expected that he will play knight f6 and uh, prepare a d4 line. Uh, I have never played d4 before. So, in my previous uh, games uh, from this position I played uh, this. Uh, nine against Bilyavsky. Also, interesting game was against Chardonneau. I was black. And uh, many games with d3, many games with... Uh, uh, several games I played knight c3, this position. This is equal position. Of course, black can play bishop c5 as well. But okay, so d4 was my preparation, e takes d4, e5. Our black has choice, so three moves are possible. Knight g4, knight e4, and d5. So if uh, knight g4 castle is the best, I recommend to everybody see game between Jones and Shirov. So Shirov played. D6, King takes D6. Something like this. And the position is more or less equal. If knight e4, queen e2 is main theory, knight c5, castle. If knight e6, black wants to play d5, and if, for example, c3, d5. E takes d6, bishop takes d6, c takes d4, castle. Important that after d5, knight d4 is coming. Black is totally fine. So the best choice for white, take on e6. Uh, black has two captures. If this takes rook d1, and then white will attack on bishop e3. Take this pawn back with complicated position, more or less equal, but it requires some knowledge. So he played d5, bishop d5, knight e4 he played. In previous game against uh, Evgeny Nair, uh, my opponent played knight d7. After castle, bishop d7. This line. Important that knight takes e5 now, it's not so good because bishop f4. Only reasonable move is c5, bishop takes e5, c takes d5, bishop takes g7, after g8, important to play bishop d5. And now bishop h3, bishop g3 is harmless, and white is better because black has permanent problem with his king. So knight b8, many games was played. But uh, against me, knight e4. Robson played, I took on d4, and now, according to theory, black has two opportunities, bishop c5 or bishop d7. After bishop d7, white can take and play castle. There's a lot of theory. Now, bishop e7 is possible, or bishop c5 is possible as well. So, black has two options. But my opponent played bishop c5 immediately, and now... I played bishop e3. Castle, so uh, he provoked me to play this line, which is popular now. And 
castle according to modern theory this is equality black has two reasonable option rook takes b2 is possible or rook d8 is possible as well and after queen f3 knight e6 this is a good compensation but okay so, so i uh, took with bishop and played knight d2 so it was my preparation, but uh, very strange that uh, I didn't consider his uh, move bishop d6, what he played. Is that everything okay with stream now? Chat is passive, so I am worried if I am not talking to emptiness. All good. Okay, so after bishop b6, I started to think. Strangely enough, uh, during my preparation, I considered only two moves. Uh, so queen e8, I considered, and queen h4. But uh, queen h4 is uh, wrong idea because uh, after simple castle, black cannot take on f2. It's very important because uh, I'm taking with rook and playing knight f3. Black is losing material, but queen e8 was a reasonable choice after castle bishop b6. But he played bishop b6 immediately, and uh, now I started to calculate what to do. So position is new for me, and I need to do something. So he wants to play c5, and uh, I cannot take on c6 because if I take uh, queen e8 simply and then I am losing e5 pawn. If uh, after taking I am... Ah, good. Here, queen e8 again, same problem. If queen d5, bishop d7, this, 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 okay, and this not attractive for me black has many good possibilities so queen b4 check is possible for example so okay uh, later i have seen that computer recommendation is uh, here is to play uh, castle and after c5 to play knight e2 but uh, okay from f human reason it looks like a good position for black since Okay, it's so I took uh, on e4, it was uh, some kind of uh, uh, miscalculation. What was my idea? So after d takes e4, I played a4. Immediately a4 I considered as well, but uh, if uh, to play e4 immediately, he has c5. So now I cannot take because he will take here. So, if for example, knight b3, this is possible, and b4 is coming, so it's bishop g5, queen b5. And black has many threats, so for example, if a5, queen takes check, and then c4 is coming, it's good for... What much? It was... Uh, uh, Mm, Chesscom global tournament. So I decide uh, to play e4, uh, to take on e4 with intention to play a4, and uh, I expected a5, and my idea is that now I can take on c6 and take on b6. And difference that he can uh, take, uh, he cannot take with a pawn anymore. So. After c takes b6, I have queen d6 with pleasant position. But, uh, okay, it's also uh, not totally clear because uh, after bishop b6, black has queen takes c6. And uh, I'm not sure that uh, I'm fine here because, okay, my bishop is attacked and where to go? If bishop d4, rook d8 looks unpleasant and... Uh, my bishop is in big dangers, for example, after this, I'm just losing. After natural move bishop e3, uh, with my bishop everything is fine, but uh, what about my king? 
So position is still unclear. Okay, I don't know what is this, but but what to do with my king? If, for example, queen d2, rook fd8, queen c3, queen g6 is pretty unpleasant, and I'm under very dangerous attack. So probably a5 was uh, quite good move as well. But he played queen d5, which I missed when I played a4. And now surely I wasn't happy with my position. But okay, I need to do something. So I played queen d2. Oh, castle looks natural, but uh, I didn't see what I will do after simple d5, a5. And now black has threat to play c5. And after he can play c5 and then take on e5. So I am in danger, just lost a pawn without sufficient compensation. So I decide to play queen d2. Now he has choices, many moves. Okay, my idea to play queen c3, okay, a5 at the moment is possible. But, uh, queen takes e5 is possible, but a5. And if he is taking on d4, uh, for sure I have at least enough compensation after both bishop takes d4, queen takes d4. If bishop c5, uh, probably knight takes c6 is possible. Queen takes b2 and castle. Now I have some compensation for for the pawn because uh, my knight c6 is quite strong. Okay, position is double edged, but black has choice. So bishop d6, he can take. If he is taken, I can take with pawn, and my pieces uh, are more active. So at least. Uh, enough for equality. But uh, probably rook d8 was a good alternative for him. Now my knight is attacked and uh, I want to, I need to do something. Probably he afraid knight takes c6, but after knight takes c6 he can take and take on f2 and it doesn't look promising for me because if I'm taking bishop, rook d2 and rook c2 coming, if king d1 he can just take and play e3. Or maybe even more precise start with e3 and just intermediate check and just win. So king d1 is obvious mistake. So rook d8 was a very interesting move and uh, what I should do. I don't know if I can play a long castle, but it looks extremely risky. But maybe it's possible to play as Viktor Lvovich Korchnoi explained it via on analyze. So important that bishop g4 doesn't work immediately. Ah, knight b3. Knight b3 to position. Let's see. Okay, I don't know if it's bad, but uh, um, I don't see special benefit. For example, if black plays uh, bishop somewhere, bishop a6, for example. It looks like good position for black. Although maybe long castle and still playable, white is fighting for c5 square. Okay, maybe knight b3 uh, is possible. But what about bishop g4 to prevent long castle? Ah, h3. Ah, h3, queen takes e5. Sorry. Queen takes d5, black can take with rook, and white has problem with e5 pawn. Okay, maybe it's not very bad, but not uh, 
not so tempting for white. So rook d8 was interesting alternative, but at the moment I need 10 minutes break. I will come back soon in this interesting position.
Hello again, I am here. Is it possible to, to see me and hear me? Good, so rook d8 was possible, but Ray played a5, also totally reasonable choice. So if uh, I am castling now, he can play simply c5 and then take pawn and position here. So I decided to play queen c3 and uh, I wasn't happy with my position at all, but at least I have... Uh, material and uh, okay uh, in this position okay uh, i was very far from optimistic uh, because um, this end game i didn't consider that uh, i have winning chances okay uh, probably i am not woes but hard to believe that i can be better here because i have also a4 pawn quite weak. For example, black can just take and play rook e8 to prepare bishop d7. Maybe bishop d7 immediately possible, but uh, after bishop d7, I can consider knight e7, king h8, a little bit inferior position for his king, uh, however, but uh, when we are playing castle, it's, um, not, my knight is ready to come to d5. So probably more precise to play rook e8, allow knight e7, and prepare bishop d7. Or to prepare rook e8. If, for example, long castle, black has rook a6. Knight d4. Maybe even rook. If bishop d7, knight b5 is possible, however. So it's more or less pleasant for me. Or maybe just without taking uh, to play rook e8 is possible. So um, I cannot believe that uh, white uh, has advantage here. And I was totally sure uh, that he will take, but suddenly he started to think for a long time. I was, uh, uh, I mean, in this, I was really surprised. I was thinking probably he has some problem with internet or something like this, because uh, for me it was so obvious that uh, queen takes c3 is the best, but probably he didn't like this endgame and to decide to, to keep queens on the board. Very strange decision. Okay, maybe another logical idea to play bishop e6 here, something like this. Okay, maybe not so simple. Takes takes rook d1 is possible. This idea to attack. Black cannot play immediately rook c8. This this is problem. But uh, even rook a6 is possible to consider to prepare bishop d7. Maybe rook e8 is the most precise, but okay, it's uh, it's playable end game. I uh, evaluate this during the game like approximately equal, but suddenly he played queen e6. Okay, so it's much sharper position, but now okay, uh, I like my position. because uh, he has more weaknesses than me. So, okay, uh, I want to try to understand what is the best way here for black. Okay, probably takes and rook e8, not castle. If rook a6, knight d4. But okay, what is my threat? Uh, so black can play even rook g6 or, or just king f8 is possible to, if, because if knight b5 rook c6 simply it looks like pretty solid position for black 
uh, bishop uh, a6 is proposition, uh, bishop a6. But bishop a6 I don't understand because it looks like uh, a little bit, okay, rook b1 is uh, possible, but maybe even castle is possible with the idea rook d7, but rook b1, yes, right. So I think black should uh, fight somehow this knight on c6 because uh, bishop a6 is, ah, uh, takes and rook b1 also, yes. Ah, and uh, yes, I agree that uh, uh, black just cannot uh, defend. Uh, yes, and bishop, uh, in my opinion, uh, should go, some, uh, uh, should try to go somewhere to d7 to attack my, okay, maybe bishop d7 immediately. Okay, knight e7, king h8. Because now black has target for counterattack. Uh, my pawn on a4, if for example, takes, takes, if knight d5, okay, rook b8. Everything is protected and uh, For example, if castle, rook c8, black is ready to play bishop e6, so I have also weak pawns. So probably bishop d7 immediately. Ah, v v without taking uh, on e3, so this, this, and bishop d7. Okay, I can play probably knight d5 here without taking, but what it gives me. Okay, anyway, rook b8, for example. Also, even uh, after bishop c6, black has excellent chances to draw, but uh, but uh, why uh, necessary to give pawn? It's, it's more or less equal position. Both has weaknesses, but uh, Queen E6, so very strange and, and a pleasant surprise for me. Because, okay, now I have Queens on the board, no chances. I played Castle, but probably Ray mm, has idea that uh, he can organize uh, attack and King's flank. Okay, I'm just improving my pieces. And he played F5. Very aggressive move, but uh, my position is not uh, so weak. Uh, of course, I need to be careful, uh, so I need to consider uh, ideas like this uh, and e3, or something like this. Although I'm not sure if it's strong just here. Maybe just here it's not so strong because bishop g3 I can play. If e2, queen c4, okay. E takes f2, rook takes f2, okay. Of course, black has uh, good contra plays uh, with this, queen e4, so it's, okay, maybe, maybe it's just bad for me because I cannot protect g2. So such tricks I need to follow, but I played queen b3, very concrete move. Now, queen f7 is possible, but queen f7 means end of attack. So after queen f7, knight e6 is unpleasant. Okay, maybe black is not losing material, but somehow, so if this I can take, and if this knight c7, because this is bad for black. If rook c8, I don't know if I can take twice, maybe I even this I can take, because if rook a6 or rook c6, I have rook d8 check. This is bad. So after queen f7, knight e6 was my idea. Probably he missing this. But he played king h8. Anyway, knight e6. And now it's more or less obvious that my threats are stronger than uh, his threats. 
played f4, okay, if not play f4, I can take and set rook b6 somehow. Always I have knight f4, so he played f4. So probably he was dreaming about this idea. And this is a good idea, but uh, after f4 I just took on b6. My knight is very strong. He played f3. If e3, I just play f3. And black attack is collapsing. So he played f3, I just played g3, he played queen g4. He wants to play queen h3, but I have time to defend bishop d4 simply. Queen h3 doesn't work because uh, I can check and knight g5. So it looks like black is just pissed down. So rook g8 he played and simply king h1. Probably not only solution in this position. So knight takes g7 probably was winning as well. Maybe if If rook takes g7, just queen f7, the game is over. Okay, so it was possible, but I played king h1 also enough. I have piece up and uh, I want to prepare a possibility to play rook g1 against queen h3. Also, queen h3 uh, wasn't Bishop a6 he played. My idea was uh, this to, now to play queen f7. But he played bishop a6, rook g1, bishop b2, rook b2. So everything is protected. Uh, I have peace up, h6. Only problem was time trouble, but in this position I didn't make mistakes. So queen b5. Logical and active move, of course, uh, many moves are winning. Probably the simplest was bishop e3 to prepare knight b4 or knight f. But I play queen b5, e3, but it's f2, rook e2. So I'm just winning queen e5. Also, queen d5 just. If rook g7, knight g6 check. If king h7, queen e4 check, and I am winning the queen. It is this. But okay, it's queen e5 he played. Again, after king h7, I have queen e4, so he played rook g7, but after knight e6, he resigned. So after this game, score is 1 1, and to next game, I will show in next tutorial. Thanks for attention. Maybe there are some more questions I can read. I am following chat. If it was question, yes, I am following chat and I'm trying to answer all of your questions. If there are any more questions, I can consider to. Is it everything okay? In my next tournament, I don't know. Maybe in the Sliga in October, it's still not clear. Everything is good. I wish everybody against yes, I do it, yes, yes, I will. Interesting match, not so pleasant result for me, but uh, okay, I think uh, there are interesting uh, moments which uh, I want to show for my spectators. 
Okay, okay, what else? Okay, 11 p.m. Okay, so I need to go to sleep. And thanks for your attention.